ass up the pacer. I'm Armando. That's Lou. And today we're doing the AFC North predictions. Season and standing predictions. And I know we've been gone for a while, but we are back and better than ever. We will be here through the whole football season. And if you watch the AFC East video, they had a lot of shit going on. So we just took a break. <laughs> we took a needed break. a little bit of need a little bit of uh, personal time off. <laughs> Truth be told, Lou got sick of me and was like, "I can't, <laughs> I can't with your ass anymore." So, uh, but before we get into it, if you want to reach out to me or Lou on Twitter, you can reach out to me at Junior D's. You can reach out to Lou at Sweet Lou thirty four thirty four. Let's get off and running. We'll do what we do best. We'll do worst to first. We'll go over what we thought they would do last year, what they actually did, and then we'll give you our predictions. So with that said, I'm going to start in last place in the AFC North, and I'm going to start with the Cincinnati Bengals. Is that what you have? Absolutely. Okay, good. We're off to a good start. So I have them going <laughs> 7-10 and 10 this year. See, if they watch the last show, we matched three records. I think yep. the only one we didn't was the Dolphins. Yes. I could be wrong. No, and the Bills, we were off by a game. Yep. But here is my paper, Cincinnati, 7-10, and 10, zoom in. <laughs> That's what I have them at. This division nice. is it's the good. second best division in football. Yes, sir. Only because I think Arizona Cardinals are better than the Bengals. If the Bengals were better than the Cardinals, this would be the best division in football. Yep, this division yep. is good for a sure. Ruto. A Ruto. Yep. And, la and, and last year... So last year I had them going four and twelve. You had them going five and eleven. And the Bengals decided to do us a favor and split the difference. They went four, eleven, and one. <laughs> so <laughs> you of had, course they did. You had Joe Burrow, his rookie season. He hurt his knee. I've seen him in preseason. He he looks good. I mean. But again, it's preseason. We'll see how it all plays out. I really like this team. I think they're good all around. We talked about Miles Gaskin for the Dolphins in the AFC East show. And Joe Mixon is like Miles Gaskin. When you talk about top running backs, um, Joe Mixon's name doesn't pop up. Yeah. Joe Mixon is a good running back. Popped up in our fantasy football draft on my auto draft. <laughs> <laughs> Some bitch better be good. Sure as shit did. Uh, <laughs> he for, better for, be good. For full disclosure, Lou doesn't know how to work computers, so he didn't log into our draft, and it auto drafted Joe Mixon in the second round. But neither Absolutely. here nor there. Neither here nor there. <laughs> He's a good back. They're wide receivers, though. They're good. Especially once they get this kid to catch the ball. Good. <laughs> I know, right? They are good, that, and they are the ball. and they are deep. But Tyler Boyd's nice. T. Higgins is nice. I mean, even I, I like guys like uh, like Mike Thomas. Yeah, I mean, and then and then um, Jamar Chase. Don't go listen. He's he's channels inner Deontay Johnson from last year. Son, catch the damn ball. Worry about everything else after. You're open. Catch it, because guess what? You're going to get hit. So once he settles down, that receiving core is going to be really good. I think Burrow is their quarterback for 15 to 17 years. I mean, they can't keep getting blown out knees every year. They got to yeah. block. So that's one of their biggest things. Their defense still has, a, has, has some work to do. And part of that problem is the six games you have against the other teams in your division. That's their biggest problem. You stick yep. this team in the AFC South, and they're competing for a division title with the Colts and the and the and the, and the Titans. Mm -hmm. Because I think they can beat the Titans. Now, I, the Colts are going to be really good, but I'm, I think they can I'm beat the with Titans. You. I am with you, and I do think that that, that they're that good. Um, and again, and the, the, obviously this doesn't need to be said, but this is all given everybody stays healthy because oh, obviously. Yeah. Injuries happen and it everything gets flushed down the toilet. COVID yeah. happens. Now now you're able to like if, if you got enough players that have COVID where last year they would just move the game, they're just like, you forfeit, sir. Have a good yeah. day. Yeah. So <laughs> good day. Uh, to you a bit a good day. <laughs> so you lose you, two nothing. 
you could have that too this year. But but yeah, we both have them going seven and ten. I I think these guys are, and again for for the first time in a minute, I have these guys headed in the right direction. There, there's a lot of optimism to be had in Cincinnati, and they Absolutely. very well could. They very well have a chance not to finish last in this division. Yep, they really do. So I'm actually excited about that because it creates, you know, being in Columbus. Well, we, you know, not have we're closer to Cincinnati than we are to any other professional team in, in Columbus. Yeah. So, but they have about the fifth largest fan base here. So, but they'll they'll rear their little ugly heads when they get them a couple wins, and they're going to get a couple. They're going to be they're going to be a hard out. Nobody nobody wants to go play them because yes. of that damn offense. Yep. So it's going to be interesting. Going to be no, very interesting. It will be interesting. And then, who do you have finishing in third place? That would be the Baltimore Ravens. They okay, just lost J.K. Dobbins, man. They did. That is going to hurt. Okay, so yes, it is going to hurt. And I I have them, okay, I have them finishing first overall in this division. In this division? Even without J.K. Dobbins. This is awesome because I, we are all out of whack here. This is this is good. Okay, I I like it too. Um, so let's let's go back to last year. Last year, you and I both had them going twelve and four. Uh, the actual was eleven and five, so we were right on par with where they finished. Um, most of that was due to the schedule. Yeah, uh, they they very had, soft, very yeah, soft. V- very soft schedule. But, I, dude, I look through this roster, and yes. J.K. Dobbins, and I was calling for if if anybody called me before fantasy football drafts or whatever, my 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 guy was J.K. Dobbins this season. I call for oh, him yeah. to have a huge year. Um, with that being said, Gus Edwards is a serviceable backup. Okay. Oh he, yeah, very much so. He's he's not J.K. Dobbins, but but he's not making five million dollars a year for nothing. <laughs> exactly. Because he, so because he could play. Do do I think they would do better with J.K. Dobbins? Yeah, probably. Having that two headed oh, oh, monster absolutely. between between him and Gus Edwards, I think it would be solid. For me to say otherwise would be stupid. Um, with that being said, I think they go eleven and six, man. Okay, so I mean we're two games apart. I got them at nine and eight. I have them at nine and eight, and and that could easily be swayed, but. What I'm not sold on about this team, they're going to run the ball on you and everybody you know. But can Hollywood Brown finally produce? They're and counting that's, on that, that's they, he, what I'm he's thinking. Their one. Yep. We know Sammy, Sammy Watkins ain't going to do shit. Why, why would we believe Sammy Watkins is going to do anything? So they're counting on uh, Hollywood Brown and the kid from uh, University of Minnesota, the rookie. His Rashad, name escapes me. Rashad Bateman. Very, very good player, college player. Yes. Can he produce in this division? And can Lamar clean up his passing? I honestly think he can. I drafted him in fantasy football. I think he's going to have a big year. But I just think the loss of Dobbins. If we did this last week, I'd have had him at the same record you had him at. Yeah. But I think Dobbins is a two-loss injury. And and it it sucks. Because, you know, I'm a huge Dobbins fan for a lot of reasons. You know, not to mention he's a Buckeye. But I think it's going to cost them two games. You know, it's, it's going to be hard to go in. It's going to be hard to beat Cleveland with their defense when you don't have your, your number one guy. Gus Edwards is good, but if he was that good, they'd have never drafted Dobbins because Gus Edwards was there first. Yeah. So I think that might be a two-game injury. And these records are so close going through the end of this that they could all be whopper jaw. Yeah, well, so, okay, so – I have them at eleven and six. You have them at nine and eight. So who do you have finishing second? I told y'all the last time we recorded that there ain't no way in hell I was picking the Cleveland Browns to win this damn division, didn't I? Ain't that what I said? Yes. Well, you know what? I told all you some bitches a lie. The lie detector determined that was a lie. I got the Pittsburgh Steelers finishing second in this division, and it pains me to say it. Pittsburgh Steelers, I got them finishing second. And the reason I do is because you, I know my Steelers like you know the Dolphins. Yep. 
I got him at 11 and six. Okay. Very, optim- very optimistic because of all the skill position talent. They have one of the top, top 10 skill position uh, sets without argument. Could be top five. Their biggest question is what? It ain't the defense. It's the offensive yep. line. Yep. Everybody's telling me how terrible their offensive line is. And I'm not even being a homer. I'm just saying, how do we know? They got five new starters. They've never played yet. Yeah. You, you got to give them three or four games to see if they're going to be good or not. So this could be six and 11 <laughs> or 11 and six. If the so, line shows up, it's 11 and six. So full disclosure. Um, so for last year, we had them at, you had them at 11 and five. I had them at 10 and six. They went 11 and five. So you obviously know the Steelers. Know my um, not me, not me. I'm just hard on my team. You know yours, <laughs> but I this year I have them going ten and seven. Very well possible. So, and, and again, the only reason I have them going ten and seven is because the the offensive line question mark. That's it. Because if yeah, the because... offensive line wasn't a question mark, I, I'd have them at you know twelve and or thirteen and four. Because when you look at it. Who has a better, now that they've added Najee Harris, then they have Najee Harris, Deontay Johnson, Juju, Claypool, and Ben. Well, how, many teams are, how many teams are putting up a better five on offense than if, that? If you, here's the thing, though, and, and, and I agree with you. And, and here's the biggest thing for me, right? Last year with a soft schedule, they went 11-5. and five. Mm-hmm. And where did they rank in rush offense? 32. They had like- they had they had none. Thirty second in rush offense. Yes. Everywhere else, they were fine. They were fifteenth in, in pass offense. The team looked good. They could not run the goddamn ball. So well, what did they do? Not- they drafted Najee Harris. They fixed the problem. Yeah, they drafted Najee Harris and replaced all five offensive linemen. Yes. So one retired. The rest of them got released. Yep. And well, except for the one they moved from one tackle to the other. Everybody else is gone. So for people telling me the line is terrible, I get what you're saying. I saw it. You know what else dogged them last year? Ben wouldn't throw the ball down the field. Partly because of his elbow. He was just coming back from that major surgery. Partly because this term style offensive line wouldn't have gave him time if he wanted to. Yep. So if these guys hold up at all, it's going to be fun to watch. But then Pittsburgh is also very iffy at the corners. They, they, those corners have got to go ahead and play, which will help them if T.J. Watt and these guys keep getting to the, to, to the quarterback. But another thing is, I think what's going to be huge for that defense is they traded for Schobert, Joe Schobert, the one that was at Cleveland terrorizing Pittsburgh last year, mm-hmm. or terrorizing. So they traded for him. Got him from Jacksonville after he left Cleveland. So now you have him and Devin Bush to work the middle, which I think he may end up taking Devin Bush's spot, or they'll have, or they'll run out there with both of them. So that's going to be very formidable on the defensive side of the ball. It's all going to depend on the offensive line. How good are they? We're not going to know. You yeah. get a you get a, a stiff test week one, but we're also going to have three rookies up there. They're going to be a little nervous. Going to be a little shook. So I'll give them four weeks. After four weeks, if they ain't getting it done, I'll be back here and I'll be writing six and 11. <laughs> because that's just what it is. So but I, I think they'll be good. I, I think they'll be good. I, I, I want to get to the, to the next team here because it, it shocks my all, my, all five senses <laughs> are, are in shock and awe right now because you have the Cleveland Browns winning this division. Yes. With what record? 12 and 5. Ooh, God damn. 12 and 5. Good and on I had you. Five, I had to find five losses. That team is loaded. They are loaded. I have they a so, have, so you have the Browns, the Steelers, the Ravens, Ravens Bengals. I went Ravens, uh, Browns, Browns, Steelers, Bengals. And it now, may- very well could be right. I have the Steelers and the Browns both at 10 and 7. Oh, but, okay. 
I'm with you though. This team is loaded. I'm done making fun of Baker Mayfield until he does something stupid, and then I will crush him again. <laughs> but with that being said, he is it. Listen, we've said how many times on this show have we said it? I will change my opinion on somebody if they give me a reason to. Absolutely. And down the stretch last season, Baker Mayfield gave me a lot of reasons to change my mind on how good of a quarterback he he was and is. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of it had to do with the work that he put in. I had a lot of it had to do with the coaching staff that's the there coaching now. Coaching staff, yes. And and they were able to work with him and put him in a system and make him put the pieces around him that he needed to be successful. And he's taken advantage of it. I think they're going to be I think they're going to be really good this year. If nothing else, even if they don't win the division, these guys are going to be a tough out who wants to play them i don't give a damn if they win the division or not when you get to the playoff who's signing up to play cleveland in the first game god forbid I, god forbid they win the division and you have home field advantage but now you talk about buffalo being ignorant you ain't that, seen shit yet well that's what let i'm saying these, let these some bitches get a home we, game we we talked about you know going it to buffalo over. and playing and how hard it is you can't go to cleveland and win not, not now. No, 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 you, no, you can't. And here's the, here's the issue with Cleveland. And I've always said it. People, you hate the Browns. You hate the Browns. I've always told you, I don't hate them. They're just fun to make fun of. You are a factory of sadness. And now they said, okay, sir. Remember you used to laugh at us? Laugh at our top five coach. So fancy the top five coach in the NFL. Start commenting if y'all want to. I don't care. I'm a diehard Steelers fan. He's a top five coach. The offensive line, top five. Running back duo, number one. Nobody has a better first and second running back. Mm -hmm. Shit, quarterback, okay, Bakes top top 16. He's top half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Receiving core, top 10. Defense, can't even argue with me, top five. They, it's now or never for them. Yep. And I mean... Like right now, not now, right now. Yep. Y'all got to go get it. I don't want to hear about Kansas City. I picked Buffalo to go because I think that highly of Josh. Josh, you put Josh Allen on this team, the game is over. But yeah. I think that highly of Josh Allen. Um, but good grief, where the 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 edge I give Buffalo over the Browns right now is Pittsburgh and Baltimore and Cincinnati gonna beat the hell out of Cleveland while losing to them a lot. Yep. But those are going to be some physical games. And it's hard to come out your division when it's this brutal. The NFC West is going to fall victim to this because the 49ers are really good. But by the time they get done with Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey and them, chasing Russell Wilson around and Kyler Murray, they're going to be wore out. Yep. But then you get somebody like the Packers who come out of a no division and going, they, got the, they got the advantage on them. Cleveland's downfall is going to be the division they're in. If Baker don't do anything stupid, your AFC championship game could be the Browns and the Bills. Because I just, I just think, I think attrition catches the Chiefs this year and they get tripped early in the playoffs. And because it it's hard happen. to go to three straight Super Bowls. Buffalo went to four straight, so yeah. it can happen. But I can see, here, here's what you don't want to do. And Cleveland and Buffalo are aware of this. Neither one of them want to have to beat Buffalo then Kansas City. So they're going all in. Kansas yep. City, this is the third time they be going. For, might get a little lazy. If they do, these dudes is hungry. They're going to get caught. Yeah. And you don't want to play these dudes like that. And that's where I think my Steelers would make the playoffs. But I can't see them. They're not going to Buffalo and winning in the playoffs. They ain't going to Cleveland and winning in the playoffs unless that offensive line erases all those questions in the first four weeks. If they do that, then, boy, don't you want to see – Buffalo and Pittsburgh in the playoffs. Cleveland and Pittsburgh, whenever. I don't care if it's Tuesday night. You want to see those games because yep. of the skill, the skill positions on that team. It's crazy. This is the most talent I've ever seen the Cleveland Browns have, and I don't 100%. want to hear about no damn uh, whatever the hell his name was. Second best running back to ever play, um, Jim Brown. Yeah, I don't want. To, yeah, yeah, I don't <laughs> want to hear no Jim Brown bullshit. Well, I'll say, I'll say this. So last year. And we didn't want to have any of this shit creep up on us this year. 
Um, so I think that's why I have him at 10 and seven. You have him at 12 and five last year. You had him going eight and eight. I had him going seven and nine. They finished at 11 and five. So <laughs> we underestimated. I, I think last year we thought they were good, but they weren't 11 and five good. Oh, absolutely um, not. Because we were both still down on Baker Mayfield. And I thought he was horrible. That was, that was the biggest, that's the biggest change um, has been Baker Mayfield's play. Uh, and even though they ranked low on like as far as like passing offense and whatnot, they they don't have to throw the ball. You've already mentioned their running back situation. They they got, got the, the best, best running, running back, back in the league. Absolutely. I mean, they averaged almost 150 yards a game. When when OBJ got hurt, and you knew they were running. Yeah. So that's what yeah. we're doing. Well, we're running right there. Yeah. With that said, I I, I think. And again, given the the J.K. Dobbins injury, I think it's going to be a toss up, and and Cleveland might run away with with the North. And again, depending on yeah. depending on how Pittsburgh offensive line plays, but these I mean yeah. these three teams, it's going to be a goddamn dogfight. And don't sleep on the Bengals. And even though we had them going whatever seven wins, seven and ten, seven and ten, yeah, they're going to be a tough out too. Oh yeah. So so oh, it's yeah. it's not going to be one of these soft seven and ten type teams, you know, that oh, you see out there and they fall I mean, into seven wins. Cleveland added to that defense that was already good. Yeah. Then, you know, you got Baker in the second year of Stefanski's offense. Stefanski can now let him open it up because he sees he's not going to do anything stupid with the ball. Yeah, mm-hmm. everybody throws picks, so but he cut his picks way down. Yep. Way down. And they get OBJ back, who does not have to be OBJ of five years ago. He just has to be OBJ. Yep. And Baker has to realize that he does not have to force him the ball. And if he don't try to force him the ball, I'm going to sit around and shake my head a whole lot of Sundays because I'm going to have to hear a whole lot of shit for 17, 18 weeks in a row. Yep. Yes, you are. Because these guys are – listen, you're the devil's due. They're good. I mean, you find the weak spot. We, I thought it was Baker. Still could be, depending on who you want, Baker or Mahomes. Well, who do you want besides Mahomes? You're yeah. not even going to tell me Brady because he's 49 years old. <laughs> so don't don't give me the don't give me those guys. You take Mahomes, Allen, Brady, Rogers out of it. Who you want quarterback and besides Baker? I mean Russell Wilson, maybe Kyler Murray. I mean you get you you can find guys, yeah. but they just don't pop off your tongue. No, when you last year out of last year I'd have rolled you off about ten or twelve real quick before the season started. Oh, absolutely. But he's, but he's proven to be a leader, and that's what you want. Yep. No, and absolutely. I hate to say this: delete this show when we're done. Shit, <laughs> kill it. Well, obviously you don't have anything else. Uh, Neither no. do I. So for Lou, I'm Armando. This is Gas Up the Pacer back finally once again, and. That's it. This was the AFC North predictions for 2021. Let us know what you think below. We know you people ain't shy. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you next week. We'll put, we'll put out uh, another show. We're going to start getting into the Steelers and all that stuff uh, next week, right before the season starts. So we'll see you guys next week. Get, get, get.